So we have this plan of really putting down roots here in Bend, Michigan, here like kind of where we were born and raised. You know, we came back from Cancun, Mexico, and we came back to that life that we had, or I should say those, those roots that we kind of started to put down, but we were like, what do we do now? Historically, Back to Back has been doing orphan care, which is so needed in so many areas. But if we can care for the family before they become an orphan, the chances of that child then having an orphan child just diminish tremendously because we've supported their whole family and they've grown up in a whole family. Then, five or 10 years down the road, you'll kind of see the fruits of your labor. It's like what Rip says, you grow, you serve, and you go. We started going to Rip together and grew. Uh, we served, but then, you know, then it's a go. This whole time we've been talking about what's next. The next step after summer staff is full-time staff. So we're kind of sitting down with them and they're explaining what, the, what it looks like for a full-time staff member. You're essentially an employee with Back to Back. You know, we got the kids and they're kind of going over our life with us. You know, what do you, have do you have houses do you, you have kids obviously do you have debt do you have student loans like what's your life looking like because you're about to leave it we just had so much life happening we just bought this house thinking that mm -hmm. we're gonna take our time yeah do we leave this job and this life that we're starting to put down here in, in mid-Michigan around our family and our community. Do we leave that? We sat on the porch several nights going around the pros and cons and they both had a lot of them, but when this decision was made weeks and weeks and weeks later, it took a long time. We applied for full time, you know, we were accepted. things have been very hard transition wise like for the girls like when we left our grand lunch house we had garage sales they were selling their toys everything goes through a lens of can we take this to Mexico our friends in Mexico they don't have a mommy so it's okay I can get rid of this and just like watching like their little brains figure out what does it mean to like pack up and leave and go serve some really hard days that helps push me through because I see my kids saying, I will give up my things to go help these children. So at this point, we accepted the job with Back to Back in Cancun. It's a lot of strengthening the families down there that are just vulnerable. They're just kind of up against it. They need someone to kind of partner with them. And the biggest thing right now is, you know, is a fundraising. It's just it's the same deal for everyone from us all the way up into their site directors. Everyone's responsible for raising those funds. And it's a grind, but we do it joyfully and we're excited. We have a tentative start date, leave Michigan, go to language school for a month, get to Cancun, get our housing set up, kind of get familiar with the area, then we gotta be ready for next summer because that's really when groups are coming down to do lots and lots and lots of work. They need work to do and they need people to kind of set them up to do that work. And that's gonna be us. Everything always for me goes back to like when I went on my first trip. I just remember so clearly like just standing outside at the Palapa where we would do like outdoor worship and just feeling like the sense of home and just peace. God, break my heart for what breaks yours. And I prayed that. And in this time, there have been days I'm like, I take it back, like unbreak it, unbreak it, because it's too hard some days. But the fact is that my heart was broken for the orphan in Mexico. And like, I couldn't make that go away. No matter what job I took here or job Ian took or what house we bought, what lake we lived on. That ache couldn't go away. be the difference for one. 
that's something that always pops into my mind. And that's also what uh, Back to Back says that. I mean, I know I'm not gonna save the world, but I can be the difference for one.